Hello you wonderful Lin Fan fans, I just wanted to make this quick video and talk about the Will Smith and Chris Rock incident and give my perspective on the story. Now in case you don't know what happened, I don't know how you wouldn't know, but basically this happened. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh wow! Yes, I think it's bad that Will did what he did, but I also think that Chris Rock is also in the wrong because he attacked his wife. I know it was meant to be a joke, but I don't think it was an appropriate joke at all, considering the fact that he was attacking her um, condition, which is alopecia, which makes you lose hair. So I think that is very messed up of him. I think the big problem with jokes is that there's a line. Yes, I think it's okay to joke about whatever you want, but as soon as you attack someone's illness, or their skin colour, or their disability, anything like that, that's when it can be seen as not a joke anymore. I'm going to give you an example of a joke that I think is okay, and then a joke that I think isn't okay. Okay, so if Chris Rock was a white man and he made a joke about black people stealing stuff, right? I would consider that okay. But if he then made a joke about Will Smith stealing stuff because he's black, that's when it goes from a joke to actually being offensive, right? I think that's kind of my perspective on the whole thing. Aussie comedian Isaac Butterfield, who I love and respect by the way, made a video about this saying I don't think enough people said this, particularly in the mainstream media. You heard a lot of people saying, oh there's confrontations at the Oscars and... No. Will Smith fucking assaulted Chris Rock over a joke. And I agree with him to an extent. This is something he's preached for a long time. I just feel like this is a little bit too far. You know, I, I get that Chris Rock probably didn't mean any harm out of this. He was making a joke, but I just think he was crossing the line a bit there. I was watching the project the other night and they brought up a part of his autobiography and it said that basically Will saw his dad beat his mum and couldn't do anything about it. So he became an entertainer to make his dad happy so that he wouldn't beat his mum anymore. And when he heard Chris Rock insulting his wife, and saw the look on her face, he then realized this was a time that he could be, actually be protective and do what he wasn't able to do when he, when he was younger. So at least that kind of brings a bit more of a perspective to why he did it. I'm not saying it justifies it. It's just an interesting new perspective to the whole story. I think they're both in the wrong. I usually agree with what Isaac Butterfield says. This is like the third or fourth time that I don't. And with that, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. My dick stinks. Toodle over. Bye bye.